Standing in a crowded room and I can't see your face. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I wanted this video to be a makeup tutorial kind of using brown lipstick because brown lipstick is a very staple trend in the fall time so i wanted to show you how you could incorporate it into your everyday life i'm going to be using the mua hall of fame palette and i got this in the glossy box subscription i'm just going to take some concealer to prime my eyelids first so i'm just going to blend that in with my fingers as i always do um then i'm going to take the palette and pick up a, the lightest shade just to set that concealer so now I'm going to pick up this matte brown colour and I'm going to pop it into the crease I don't want like a really out there look I just want something that you could wear every day you could wear it if you're going to the shop or out for lunch or whatever I just wanted to show you how you could incorporate bold kind of dark tones into your everyday life so now I'm going to take this grey kind of colour silvery grey and I'm going to pop that all over the eyelid And I'm going to take it up a bit higher and don't worry it looks a bit messy now but it'll come together um, I'm going to take that matte brown shade again and just pop that color in the crease to blend everything out and yeah so now I'm actually going to go back in with that color again because blending everything out kind of took away the pigment of it I'm actually going to wet my brush with some Fix Plus just to make sure that it has the pigment it should have. I'm going to go back in with that brown shade again and pop that into the crease one more time. Just be careful too because putting Fix Plus on the shadow does make it more pigmented but it does make it a lot harder to blend out so just be aware of that. Now I'm going to take this lighter blue colour and just pop it right in the centre of the eyelid just for a wee pop of colour and a wee highlight on the lid. Now I'm just going to clean up the fallout from the shadow and move on to my face. I'm just going to use the Smashbox Primer Water to prime or as my base I should say. I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Color Stay Makeup for Normal to Dry Skin in the colour Buff. And mine doesn't have a pump because it's one of the old ones, so it does get a bit messy. Can't wait for that bottle to finish so I can get one with a pump. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And when that's done, I am just going to grab the same concealer and just pop that where I'd normally apply concealer. Focus! Under my eyes, around my nose, and then anywhere else that needs a bit of coverage. So, I'm just gonna blend that out. 
and then I'm going to set everything. I'm going to set everything using the Santi Mineral Compact Powder. For blush and bronzer, I'm going to be using this. I think it's a Muse. Yeah, a Muse Cheek Colour Blush Duo. And I'm actually going to be taking the bronzing shade first and just warm up my face. Then I'm going to go in with the blush. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with this highlighter. It's in the shade Pearl. It is from the cosmetics company called EJD Cosmetics. They are on Instagram. Go check them out. They're really affordable and everything is homemade. So you know you're getting the best quality ingredients, I suppose. Um, This is such a lovely, subtle highlight for days that you don't want this big mad glow on your cheeks. But you do want something. It just puts this lovely sheen across your face and it's not too noticeable like it looks so natural you could use this with no makeup or anything it just looks so natural it's beautiful black eyeliner into the waterline that is the Rimmel soft coal eyeliner in black and then I'm just gonna blend out that eyeliner I don't really want to put anything underneath because it's still daytime and I don't want to do anything too mad I'm going to be going in with the wet and wild brow kit to fill in my brows And I'm not going to put any gel or anything on them. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. For mascara, I'm going to be going in with this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Highlight the brow bone and the inner corner now and then that is us. Finito. Well I need to put on lipstick as well but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to take one of the shades in the palette and just highlight the brow bone. And the inner corner too because this look has a lot of blue tones in it. I really want to make the inner corner really bright and... Everything else, I don't want my eyes to look bruised, I suppose. And now to finish off with the lipstick, I'm going to be going in with the Clean Colour Madly Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Canyon. So that is the finished look. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check me out on all my social media accounts. They're linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.